Hey, it's Florianne from 94.9 The Rock, and I have Max from Arkells on the line. Hey, Max, I believe that uh, we spoke five years ago when I started here at The Rock. You were, yeah, you were one of my first interviews. You guys came in, and it was really fun, and now I'm back in my position five years later, and you're one of my first interviews again. <laughs> hey, well, full circle, baby. I kind of love it. <laughs> <laughs> really, awesome. Yeah, really excited to talk to you today, especially with uh, the announcement, which, of course, we will get to, but I was hoping we could touch on a couple of things that happened uh, recently just to get your thoughts about them because some of them are really, really cool. Okay. Is that all right? Like okay. uh, like opening for The Who last month? Uh, yeah, it was cool. I mean, we, we uh, got off the road kind of at the end of March and just planned to be home for a couple months. And then we got a phone call from The Who asking if we'd play with them in Buffalo and Detroit. And of course, it was a, a real honor. We got to meet uh, Pete uh, before the show in Buffalo, and he hung out with us for a bit in his dressing room. And yeah, you you know, you you realize why they're such a a big and popular band that have been around for as long as they have because the songs hold up, and and Roger can uh, still sing really well, and Pete is an incredible guitarist. And yeah, just to to be able to share the stage was such an honor. Did you feel like you had to win the audience over or were they receptive uh, to a younger, very cool rock band opening for, <laughs> you know, The Who? It's a good question. I mean, yeah, you're right in that like a lot of people that are going to The Who shows don't necessarily go out seeking new music or go to a ton of shows. Mm-hmm. And definitely a slightly older demo uh, than uh, an Arkell's audience. Uh, but for us, a music lover is a music lover. And if they want to you know, get on board, then we're all about it. So, um, it was, uh, I think a great opportunity to play for a room full of new people. Yeah, definitely. For sure. When the who, they had to cancel their Toronto show because of the Raptors, which is a great reason. Um, but, uh, when they do come back, are you opening in the Toronto show? No, no, we, oh. uh, we're doing, well, we're doing our Toronto show this weekend, so we got to space them out. So it sure probably enough. makes sense to go, go do it there. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, speaking of the Raptors, though, I did uh, read your blog that you posted yesterday at arkellsmusic.com. It oh, was, thanks. you're welcome. It was so well written. It was so sweet. It was really touching. And I mean, I didn't really know about that side of you, your love for basketball and how it came about when you were really, really little. You were actually there yesterday at the parade. Do you, yeah. Could you share your thoughts about like how it made you feel? Yeah, it's pretty pretty special. The whole this whole playoff run been been amazing. Um, you know, I have to think about like what made what made this whole uh, episode feel so special. And, and I, I have such a lucky career, and I get to experience like really unique things all the time. You know, with the, with the types of shows we play and the people we get to meet. Uh, but there's something with the Raptors playoff run that felt like it was the rarest thing I've ever got to experience. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think everybody would probably say that who, who's been following along since the beginning. Um, you know, this, this is the first time we've had a you know, championship banner and uh, we've got to celebrate it at a parade. And um, I think my favorite part of it, though, was just seeing people come together. You know, I love seeing those images of Jurassic Park and also just like the city squares in Mississauga and Brampton and all across the country. And, and it's, it's kind of why I love live music and what I think we try to do with our Kel shows is, is just try to make it feel like a community event and everybody's just sort of happy to share each other's company and everybody is generally like pretty well behaved and, mm-hmm. and in a good mood. And I think those are like things that connect the sports world and the music world is like this, this moment in time when you don't have to think about life's problems and you can get off your phone and you can just, uh, you know, appreciate the spirit in the air. Absolutely. It was really emotional. Like the whole thing has been really, really emotional. And I haven't been a basketball fan since I was a little girl like you have since you were a little boy. But um, exactly what you said, just the city coming together, maybe even Canada coming together, all focusing on the same thing and being so excited about it. It just, uh, yeah, it was a really emotional experience and an exciting experience. And it was cool uh, to read your thoughts. So people should go and read the blog. I think it was a really nice read. Nah, thank you. Yeah, Arkellsmusic.com. Just me pontificating on why I like <laughs> basketball so much. <laughs> exactly. And we get to see you on Saturday uh, on the Bud stage, like you said, for a rally cry summer night. And uh, the weather looks like it's going to be beautiful, which I think will just add it to the experience that you're going to provide for us. Um, 
I haven't been to an Arkell show that had the soul review and you're doing that at the Bud stage. Yeah. Um, you know, we played Scotiabank arena in February and it was an incredible night and we knew we wanted to do something in Toronto this summer, but we, we wanted to make it special and different. You know, I think for us, we're always comparing ourselves to the last thing that we did and how can we change things up and how can we beat it? Yeah, for <laughs> and, sure. um, you know, from time to time, we play these old classic Motown songs that I grew up listening to around the house. My, my dad went to college in Detroit, and so he <laughs> trucked around these Marvin Gaye and Temptations and Four Tops records, uh, and I listened to that a lot as a kid. So we're doing a little soul review in the middle of the show. So it's going to be a bunch of R. Kells hits and then a, a little bit of a, a soul, soul review uh, with, with a six-piece horn section and the three backup singers and... Uh, It'll be a Saturday night party. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what it sounds like. A big old dance party in the middle of Toronto on a sunny or maybe not so sunny at that time, but Saturday night, a warm Saturday night. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. So that sounds great. So you started the year at the Scotiabank Arena. Now you're doing a, a middle of the summer show at Bud Stage and then you're coming back again. What did we do to deserve this honor? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we um, I think we're we're pretty um cognizant of just like these smaller communities that we've got a chance to play over the years. And we always want to make sure that every record we put out, we, we go back because uh, we have real bonds with, uh, you know, places like London and Guelph and St. Catharines and Oshawa, Peterborough, Kingston. And um, yeah, it'd be a shame not to go. To. And so, uh, yeah, this next leg of the tour that we just announced today is hitting up all those small towns. And, and you know, there's, there's a lot of people who, you know, like live in Oshawa, for instance, um, who who aren't far from Toronto, but going to a show in downtown Toronto can be a bit of a chore. So we're we're bringing the party <laughs> to those people. Yeah, and uh, and and we and we love the sometimes the, those shows are the rowdiest, which which I personally love. <laughs> Definitely. So the Rock is presenting our cows. It's happening at the Tribute Community Center, uh, the TCC for short, on Thursday, November fourteenth, and uh, we are very excited to present that and. Uh, and yeah, stoked to see you for a third time in the GTA. Yeah, well, th yeah, thanks so much uh, for all the love uh, over the years and on this record. We've had such a great time playing the songs, and it feels like, you know, the life of a song is always interesting. You know, you put it out, and you wait for that initial feedback, and then you see how it becomes a part of uh, people's lives in various ways. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, this record was made to, to tour. So yeah. we're excited to, to get on the road and do it. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for calling in today, Max. I really appreciate it.